Hey y'all, it's your girl DeAndra. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, then make sure that you hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on my post notifications so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. I post videos every single Friday, so please consider joining the family. All right, y'all, so today I'm trying something on my hair that I've never done before, and that is finger coils. So I've seen other naturals do this before, but for whatever reason, I just never tried them. But that's gonna change today. So first off, I've already washed and conditioned my hair. I actually use Kalita Naturals, which is a black hair care brand that I happen to really, really love. I used their conditioner to pre-poo my hair and I used their shampoo to wash. And these two products were so, so great. They're very, very moisturizing. So my hair feels amazing right now. All right, so now I'm just taking my hair out of these clips. I'm going to do these finger coils in sections just like I would with any other style. So this is what my hair looks like so far. So I'm going to use my Kalita Naturals Moisture Galore Custard for my coils. So I think that this product is going to serve the purpose of a moisturizer and a gel because it moisturizes and gives hold. And this is what it looks like. So it's very creamy, but also has the feeling of a gel. So I think this is gonna work really, really good. All right, so I'm not exactly sure how big I want these finger coils to be. I know I don't want them to be too tiny because I feel like that's gonna be a nightmare when it's time for me to take them loose. But at the same time, I don't want them too thick. So I'm gonna try to find a nice, happy medium. And we're gonna just see how that goes. All right, so I'm gonna start with this section and probably make this into two finger coils is what I'm thinking. All right, so I'm gonna just apply the custard to this entire section right here. This stuff smells really good. Like, it smells so good. I'm obsessed with it. All right, so I'm kind of feeling like this product is very lightweight, which is great for a moisturizer, but I think I'm going to go in with my Uncle Funky's Daughter Gel just to make sure that I have enough holds. I really don't want these finger coils to unravel. So I think I'm going to do that. So y'all know this is a staple product for me. It's the Uncle Funky's Daughter Curly Magic. I use this for my wash and goes, my twist outs, pretty much all my styles. It's a really great gel. So I think that's gonna work really good for these finger coils. And now I'm going to just take out a section for my first coil. And this section might be too big, y'all, but we're just gonna see. I'm going to apply some of my Curly Magic. And I'm gonna go in with my detangling brush just to make sure that my hair is completely detangled. I've watched several of these videos and they all said that you wanna make sure that your hair is completely free of tangles, which makes sense because you don't want your coils to be all tangled. All right, so I'm just gonna apply a little bit more gel specifically to my roots so that my coils can lay nice and flat. And I'm gonna just start. <laughs> I'm a little nervous, y'all. I've never done this before. So I'm just twisting, fairly 
tightly at my roots. And now I'm just going to twist. All the way down. I really don't want this to come loose or unravel, so I'm trying to twist a lot at these ends before I let go. All right. <laughs> it looks really, really cute. I hope it stays, but right now it looks really, really cute. I think it's a nice size. I might make them a little bit smaller as I go along, but we will see. All right, so that's one. I think the key to these is definitely using a nice gel because I can see how these could come loose pretty easily. and also twisting pretty tight to keep them intact. So I just finished this first section and I think they look so cute. And they're actually a lot easier to do than I thought they would be. They definitely take some time, but I kind of figured that. y'all so I am done with the back I think they look really really good I'm gonna show y'all how it looks so I'm kind of looking and obviously there's a lot of shrinkage with these which I was already expecting but I've been kind of thinking about how do I want to stretch my hair I know some people use the banding method and you can probably also stretch these using heat, but I think I'm going to do what I always do to stretch my hair, which is use duck clips. And I'm gonna just put them on the ends just to weigh these down a little bit and basically keep them from shrinking more than this. I think we're gonna do two finger coils at a time. All right, so now I'm just gonna work on the front two sections. So I am finally done finger coiling my hair. I just wanted y'all to see the difference between when I don't use the clips versus when I do use the clips. 
they definitely do stretch my hair so I'm gonna go ahead and put the other clips on this side all right so now all the clips are on so I ended up having 18 coils in the back and 20 coils in the front I did a couple extra in the front just because I wanted that part to be super defined since that's the part that most people see the most and I started my hair at about 310 and now it is 520 so it took a little over two hours to do this hairstyle All right, so now I'm just gonna let my hair air dry and then I will come back to show y'all the final results. All right, y'all, so it's the next day and my hair is fully dry. It was actually fully dry last night, but honestly, I just didn't feel like filming. So we're here today. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take these clips out. So as you can see, my hair did not really shrink more than it was when it was wet, which is why I love those duck clips. They do the trick every single time. I'm just really in love with these. I feel like these look more like locks than even the mini twist did. And those looked a lot like locks too, but these, like y'all, they are just so cute. And they're nice and shiny. So the products that I used, the Kalita Naturals Custard and my Uncle Funky's Curly Magic definitely work amazingly. So I'm just gonna show y'all how I'm probably going to style these because I probably won't just wear them down most of the time so I'm thinking I could wear them up like this it's just a pull back ponytail with the two in the front and I can also do like a high pony something like this I feel like that is super cute yeah that is like really really cute so the front got a little bit loose, so I just went back and retwisted those a little bit and put some bobby pins there. And now I'm just going in with my Kalita Natural Strong Hold Edge Control to do my edges. All right, y'all, and that is the final look. I am so in love with the way my hair looks like it's everything and also the great thing about these finger coils is that they're actually two styles in one so you can wear your hair in the finger coils these will definitely last probably a while <laughs> Um, you can leave them in for a few days or a week whatever you want to do and then you can actually take these apart and you'll have a finger coil out which you can then wear for another few days or a week so you can really get up to two weeks or longer with this one style so if you want to see how my hair looks when I take these loose then make sure that you are subscribed and turn on my post notifications because I don't know how long I'm going to keep my hair like this. I'm really curious to see what the finger coil out is going to look like. So it might be up before Friday, which is my normal post day. This video might be up in a couple days. So I'm telling y'all, make sure you're subscribed so that you don't miss it. All right, so that's it for this video. Thank y'all so much for watching and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.